Not a one size fits all, and here you go. This is a staccato, be honored. Staccato makes a great handgun, but were they surpassed? And I think yes, in many ways. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today I wanna to talk about Staccato because they have a rich history. They deserve a lot of credit for bringing the 2011 handgun to life where, where it's a common term in the US. They've done an incredible job taking a, a company that was financially struggling and turning it into a dynasty with the Staccato brand. Incredible marketing. They've done a lot with law enforcement and military given those guys the, these handguns that perform so well and that they are accurate with and, and can trust their lives with. Staccato has done an incredible job throughout the years. And you heard me say about take over a company in hardship, that was called STI. That was the, the name of the company prior to Staccato. This was prior to 2020. I remember STI. They were a huge hit. In the competition world, competitors loved it. They said, my goodness, you, you get a 1911, widen the grip, put a double stack 9mm mag in there, an optic ready, and, and you just shoot the lights out with it with very little recoil. It was a huge hit in the, in the competition world, and people started taking notice. The problem was STI had some quality control issues, and people either trusted them or they didn't. That's not a good place to be in the gun world. So Staccato basically brought in some new people. They kept, they, they changed the name, but they kept the ownership and they ended up expanding buildings because they started doing so well, but they, they cleaned up some of the quality control. They brought in new people. They expanded to larger facilities. They did incredible job marketing. And now you flash forward to today, many people will say a Staccato handgun is among the best shooting handguns out there. Now here we have a Staccato P. The Staccato P, I believe, is their most popular handgun, the best-selling handgun for Staccato. It's a phenomenal handgun, and they now have six separate lines of Staccatos. But you look at the Staccato P, this has an MSRP of $2,500. It wasn't too long ago where people would say, I would never even think about paying $2,500 for a handgun. That's way too much. Many people say, well, I can get uh, five Glocks for that much. Well, that's true, but it's not a Staccato and it's not a 2011. And by the way, a 2011 is a Staccato thing or an STI thing. They're one in the same now. Uh, that started with them. They branded the 2011 name. Other manufacturers jumped onto it, but it started with Staccato slash STI. Nonetheless, $2,500. It's a phenomenal handgun, 2011, 17 round mags, 4.4 inch barrel, people love it. It's got some lightning cuts there, excellent shooting, little recoil, and, and they said it's too much, but you look at what's happened since then, as the 2011 has evolved into not just something that competitors would use, not just law enforcement and military, but your average civilian, because they could take a handgun like that and shoot like they never could before and they get their favorite optic on there and whatever. It's, it's a phenomenal handgun and I jumped on board as well. I'm a big fan. So are many other people, but we have seen as more companies begin to develop their own 2011, some are a little bit less, some are a little bit more, some are a lot more. And that $2,500 price that the Staccato P was MSRPing turned out to be a little bit of a bargain when you see the way the market reacted. We see some that are six and seven thousand dollars for a 2011 that basically looks like a staccato. It behaves like a staccato. In some ways, it shoots like a staccato, but it's not a staccato. And, and the owners of those will say this one is superior. And so the question is: Is staccato still the top dog in the 2011 world? I believe in one time it was, and a lot of that had to do with superior marketing because the marketing was so strong. They did such a good job by saying this is our gun and this is why you need it. And they got it in the hands of people who I, I reach a lot of eyes and have the trust of the community to say this thing is amazing. But what happened? As the years went on, you saw companies like Springfield Armory come out with 
the 1911 DS Prodigy. They call it a 1911 DS Prodigy with higher cap mags, a $1,750 thereabouts MSRP. They include an optic. That is a better price than the $2,500, like $700 less. And a lot of people will swear by that one too. They'll say that is a phenomenal handgun. You look at Bull Armory. They do an incredible job. Now this is a TAC four and a quarter. The same 17 round mags, this one has an aluminum frame with a four and a quarter inch barrel, but the same attributes as the Staccato line, but an MSRP of $1,760. Once again, much less than the Staccato P. Is it worth it? I think it is. I think it's a phenomenal handgun and I love owning it. Here's another one. This would be considered a budget handgun. This is a Live Free Armory Apollo 11, $9.99. Yeah, it only comes with one mag and these, these mags are expensive, but most of them are universal and it does have some MIM parts, but it's a 2011 that shoots incredibly well. It does offers the same physical attributes, but you see other companies like Koshan Arms, or you may know it as Cosaint Arms, makes custom builds. Staccato doesn't do custom builds. They don't do custom colors. They don't do custom triggers. It's basically, this is our gun and you take it if you want it. That's what you get. You don't have many options. It's sort of like Glock in a way that if you want more options, you have to go to the aftermarket. And people say, you know what, if, if I'm going to put this kind of investment into a gun, I want it the way I want it. I want the lighter trigger. I want to customize the colors. I want additional comps and so forth. Not a one size fits all. And here you go. This is a Staccato. Be honored. Staccato makes a great handgun, but were they surpassed? And I think yes, in many ways. Now you look at that $2,500 price tag, that has become more in the line of budgets. Where yeah, yeah, they have one at $4,200, another one at $3,500, but for the most part, those prices have skyrocketed. You look at Masterpiece Arms and the DS9, that's closer to $3,500, four grand. Incredible handgun. I shot it. It's an incredible handgun. You look at some of the other ones. Atlas makes a $6,000 handgun. People rave about it. And they say next to a Staccato, it blows it away. Well, so does the increased price. There's no doubt about that. But is Staccato still the king of the hill? I say that Staccato once held that position and now it is under serious jeopardy calling them the king of the hill when you have so many manufacturers. And anytime you get competition, that's a good thing. But what I want to do is bring it over to the table, talk a little bit about the Staccato and the Bull Armory and see which one is your choice because you're looking at about a $700 difference in the favor of, well, it, it, with the Staccato, $700 with the Staccato and $700 less in favor of Bull. So let's do it. Give me a minute and a half. Here we have the famous Staccato P. In no way am I trying to disparage Staccato in this video. I'm just trying to bring to light some points. And here we have the Bull Armory Tack 4 and a quarter. I have done a comparison with these. I have shot them side by side and I noticed no noticeable difference. Now you may notice this doesn't have an optic, but the one I shot did. It was great at rider's range. 17 round mags here. 18 round mags here steel frame or aluminum frame is available this comes only with an aluminum frame now staccato gives you this very cool range bag very cool very nice looking well put together but bull armory does the same thing they give you a real nice range bag with bore brushes and so forth and additional mags in both so no great advantage there Four and a quarter inch, here we have a 4.4 inch. No great difference there. Disassemble's a little different. Grip texturing is a little different. Here we have a full pick rail. Here we have a one slot pick, Picatinny rail. Well, an accessory rail. Both very nice handguns. Both have slide cuts. Both are optic ready. Bull is a, a ready to suit a direct mount with well it's not direct mount it's got a little plate there but it, it, it comes with the handgun like that as where this you have to order separately so you're looking at 
some variations between the two, but both are phenomenal. The greatest difference, in my, my opinion, is the price for $700 more. Is the Staccato worth it? And in my eyes, it's not. Is it more available? Yes. If you want one tomorrow, yeah, you can get a Staccato. Probably can't get a bull. You have to shop around for it. But there are others like the Prodigy and the Apollo 11 and others that you can find. So I love Staccato. I, I'm so uh, proud of what they did for the gun community, how they brought the 2011 name to light, and people love them, and what they have done with law enforcement and military. However, I think in terms of the civilian market, they have been surpassed by companies like Bull and Springfield and uh, others that are, are less expensive and offer similar results. Once again, huge fan of both. I hope you are too. Which one would you choose? I'm just curious. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.